Today on Houston Life, it is HL Obsessions Day. From plants to clothing and more, how you can save up to 20% off some of our favorite local small businesses. And we'll meet one local artist that's helping us take our creativity to the next level using mixed media art. Plus, are you dissatisfied with your profession or perhaps thinking of finding a new job? We have tips from a celebrity career coach to help you reset your work life. And paint your pet all, we're gonna tell you how to do it. That's more is coming up on Houston Life. Live from Studio B and KPRC2. Houston Life starts now. <laughs> We're going to make it through. We promise. We'll do our best. Welcome to Houston Life, everyone, on this Tuesday, April 13th, 2021. What were you just saying before we went live? <laughs> Sometimes there's just words, you know, that are in the... There's a, there's a small portion of the show that's actually scripted. Sometimes words go missing. <laughs> Sometimes no words happen to good people. But listen, Tex is here to smell the flowers. Tex is here. We're going to have a lot of fun. And one of the reasons why, I don't know, we feel a bit pressed for time today is because we have been busy setting things up for a fantastic show. We have all kinds of exciting stuff in studio, some great discount codes for local deals. Also, before we move along, Courtney, we have to mark that today is the start of Ramadan, the holiest month in the Islamic calendar. It is a month-long practice for Muslims, sort of like a resetting time, right. right? So it's aimed at heightening remembrance of God, curbing unhealthy habits, and deepening gratitude. It's marked by longer prayers and dawn to dusk fasting. So for everyone out there who is celebrating Ramadan, we celebrate with you. Very, Absolutely. Very nice. And if you head on uh, to clicktohouston.com, uh, there's more information about the holiday and how it is celebrated. Very and nice. we also want to send a big congratulations over to our friend Carlos Correa. He still has not signed anything, so that's not what we're talking about. But he recently was honored with a sportsmanship award from the Houston Sports Authority. Listen to this for his extensive community service and humanitarian efforts. Love this. He is a great guy, along with his wife, Daniela, of course. They're always finding ways to give back in the community with their Correa Family Foundation. You know, they were the first after Harvey to help. Uh, you're involved with um, a lot of their um, organizations with Texas mattress makers? Yeah, the Better Night Sleep program, which helps young people. I mean, thousands of young people in Houston do not have mattresses, right. and Carlos has always stepped up to the plate to help them. And it's so great, too, and you were just looking at some video, too, of the, him visiting with pediatric cancer patients at various local hospitals around, and gathering and donating supplies for communities affected by natural disasters, of course, here at home in Houston, and also his home in Puerto Rico and Central America. Uh, they always, as you said, step up to the plate. It's great to see him recognized for that now just just sign the contract yeah what do you mean he hasn't signed anything Courtney no free agent so said that last offer of 120 million wasn't even close well, I don't know how anyone could survive on such a low salary. I don't either. Frankly. I don't either. We definitely need him to negotiate our next... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just teasing. Just sign the deal, right? Only but 120? I know. Million? Very, very low. Um, but it is wonderful to see that he is honored. I love seeing that. And, and what I love about our sports guys, too, and, and women in our town, um, whether they were born here or now call Houston home, uh, they settle here. They, they understand the needs in our community yeah. and embrace it with their own arms, which I think is really wonderful. Yeah, so inspiring. So Daniela and Carlos, if you're watching, which of course they watch Houston I mean, Life. We're, they're total friends. They've always been so great, though, to make time for us here. We love, love them. Recognition. I, I'm, I'm grabbing my notes. This is, I forgot to pull this up at the, at the desk, and there was like tons of napkins and paper towels over there. Yeah, I don't know. But I wanted to make sure I had this. stuff is down there. Because this is truly something the party I could get behind. Dwayne Johnson for president. The Rock. Can you guys... What? Right? Is this a real story? Because I saw a, a hint of this a couple days ago. Okay, so he shared this on his Instagram post that included a recent poll... And the post read, at least 46% of Americans would support a presidential run from Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Huh. I mean, I feel like it fits. Look at him. He looks presidential. Right? Well, he says, that now what he posted, his response to this 
in his words, I don't think our founding fathers ever envisioned a 6'4", bald, tattooed, half black, half Samoan, tequila drinking, pickup truck driving, fanny pack wearing guy joining their club. But if it ever happens, it'd be my honor to serve you, the people. The only words I just heard were fanny and pack. Listen, and that makes me love him even more. Love him. What's his platform though? What, like what would he run on? Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, kidding. <laughs> See, I'm kidding. I think he would have a good chance because people are like, we had Ronald Reagan, of course, yes. in California when there was a recall. Um, Arnold Schwarzenegger ran for governor. Right. And, won, and I mean, the cam slogan, campaign slogan was like, we need a Terminator. But no, everyone was like, we don't know what that means. Right. We don't know what we he's just running want on, it. but we just, so I feel like celebrities automatically have a leg up, even if they. He's an all around good guy. Job. I do follow him on Instagram and I go down down the rabbit hole to so to speak, especially when he's showing videos or having tea parties with his little girl. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, he's so I, I love him. I would join the party. Okay, time will tell. I know. Okay, so he also had a moment there of me interviewing him. But he also said in an interview with NBC's Willie Guy said he is a goal to unite the country. So you know, we'll see what that means. Yeah, I think that would be fantastic. We certainly need that. And he has a great story. Have you watched The Young Rock? No, not oh, yet. Oh, it's so good. You can catch the, the Young Rock show right here on KPRC. It's actually tonight, 7 p.m. Is it a good show? It's I have, really funny. I've seen the preview. It does look really funny because it's based on his life. Is yes. that it? Yes, uh-huh. Oh. It's so funny. Okay, well, we'll see if he Family makes the Family friendly, run. too. It's I, really good. Didn't, wasn't there a campaign bus that said, like, Dwayne The Rock for President 2032? I don't know. I think we have a while to wait. Who okay. knows? Who knows? What's he waiting for? He should just, right? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I think he would have a very large support. So did you hear, time will tell on that, did you hear about this guy who walked a marathon inside a Walmart store? No. Like a mall walker, but in just inside Walmart? I guess so, yeah. Because we, when we worked at the mall, we saw people mall walking all the time. All the time? It's a great place to walk. It's safe. You can... It's a great place to shop and walk. <laughs> Air conditioning. <laughs> you can <laughs> shop and you can walk. <laughs> you can, all the bags that you have to walk with by the end. So this happened inside a Walmart. So there's this YouTuber. I hadn't heard of this guy before, but I guess his name is President Shea and his brother Colby. They decided to walk a marathon inside a Walmart store. So this video has more than a quarter million views. They completed their 26.2 miles in, guess how long, Courtney? I don't know. 10 hours, 49 minutes. Did they go in the middle of the night? Because there's no, there's nobody else in the aisles. I don't know. That sounds exhausting. They say they had the blisters to prove it. The video is featured in a Men's Health article, <clears throat> and it's just proof that anyone can be famous. <laughs> <laughs> you are famous for the dumbest things. Oh my word! It just proves that. I don't, we don't know. We're not sure what it proves. It proves that anybody can walk a marathon anywhere you want to. Pushing a shopping cart. <laughs> and we watched the video. Well, and we're talking about it, so <laughs> something's working. Oh, man. That's just, it's good stuff. Do you know in Salt Lake City there is the largest Costco in America? <laughs> Because no. when they opened a few years back, well, you should know you worked there. This well, happened, I did. This but... happened after you worked there. But it takes like a full six or seven minutes to walk the entire perimeter. It does. <laughs> How's that for a fun fact? Was she an employee? You mean? Was she? What? <laughs> no, it was a local reporter who did the story. Okay. All right. I, I'm lost now. Still to come. We've got your chance to win some amazing prizes when we play our new game. It's called High or Low. Don't worry. Everyone else is lost as well. You're not alone, people. But right now, let's check in with Lauren Kelly, who is having a perfect afternoon. <laughs> Lauren, what? <laughs> you guys, I'm going to help you make a portrait of your pet here at Painting with a Twist. We are painting your pet. Look, mine has already come out so nicely. Oh, my gosh. More to come when Houston Life returns next. What you know about me? Okay. This one gave me the giggles earlier because I think we've all been there. For when you're online shopping, and let's say maybe you might be doing one or two things at the same time, 
This one's for you. There's an article trending on BuzzFeed today, and it's called 15 People Who Ordered the Wrong Size and Laughed Until They Cried When It Arrived. I actually have a story about this, but let's show you the examples. Okay. The first one, this is not a double XL like you'd find in America. Oh, yeah. I know. Well, sometimes if it's like international sizing, you could have, like I have a Look few at the tag. shirts from Amazon. Yeah, it's a double XL. Wow. Yeah. I know. Okay, now this was not a one size fits all doggy door. <laughs> Oh, the poor pooch. I know. Okay, and then this one, I don't know, maybe isn't so bad. This is not your regular old toilet paper. Oh, dear. It's a large roll. Look at that. I mean, that looks like the paper towels you'd get in, like, a pub, like a restroom. Yeah. Like a restaurant's restroom, pub, public restroom. And then this one was my favorite. Look at this. These were <gasps> absolutely not your average lamps. No. Yes. So someone bought a lamp like that and didn't realize it was going to show up Yes. That size? So back in November for Connor's birthday, he wanted a new scooter. You know, they go scootering and skateboarding and stuff. And so he sent me the one that he wanted, the name of it, the type, because I'm very, you know, don't just let me know the easiest way to buy it. So he did. I found it. I, I screenshotted the picture when he showed me. So I matched the color. I knew exactly what it was. It arrived early. Everything's great. I never took it out of the box because I wrapped it. Okay, wanted yeah. it to be perfect, wrapped it. And it's a scooter, so he would know what it was, right? Yeah, you're right? not going to open his gift. So I just left it in the big box. Well, day of his birthday, back in November, he opened it up. Can I, can I stand up? Because I want to show you guys what happened when he, when he got the... I'll just come in front here. Okay, so he opened... He was like, Mom, <laughs> the scooter was like down here. It was like for a three-year-old. He oh, literally, he got out. I said, what? That's what I, you sent me the right, li it literally was like this on him. Like a baby scooter. It was a baby scooter. Oh. I know. So what happened? You sent it back. I just sent it back. And but that's a, a good one. story though. I know, but I didn't pay attention. Well, if you can't try before you buy, I mean, I've ordered wrong sizes all the time, but I can't think of a time when it was completely the wrong. Right, thing. like those lamps. That's why I think I was probably the last person on earth to like really get into the online shopping because I'm so tactile and the sizing is so weird. Now, clearly, I don't have a problem online shopping, but that was my biggest reason because I thought, what if, it, what if I order something that's completely off? What if I order a baby scooter? And then I do. You just return it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we want to hear from you. What is something you purchased online that turned out to be a complete fail? Too big, too small, whatever. Share your answers and picks with us on our Facebook page, and I think we've already been getting some pretty good ones. There are some really funny ones, too. Look at this. He can't be bothered. Have you ever wanted to create an original portrait of your beloved fur baby well now you can you can do that with the guided help from artists at painting with a twist a portrait portrait lauren kelly is hanging out today at their memorial location with a pretty cool way to create a custom painting of your pet and lauren you didn't actually paint the thing that we saw before commercial break did you no what don't you believe that I did not create this masterpiece, Derek? <laughs> You're right. I did not make that. I'm going to make one a little bit later on in the show. But this is something I've always wanted to do. You know my love for my two puppies, Minnie and Zoe. And this is a great way to capture your favorite memories and create your very own original piece of art. And I'm here with the owner of the Westheimer location. This is Alberto. We are at the memorial location because we wanted to show off a couple of the paintings that you already have here. But first of all, Tell our viewers how they can actually get into one of the Paint Your Pet events. Well, we have one of these events every month, at least once a month in each one of our locations. You just need to go online, look for Paint Your Own Pet, and from there you will actually go in, look for the class, click on the website, and book your seat. Once you've booked your seat, how many seats you want, actually you send us a picture of that little furry pet that you love so much, <laughs> and we will sketch it the painting, okay. we will sketch it for you. So you don't have to be a master artist to paint something like this. You are gonna have artists there to help guide you through how these paintings exactly. are made. Okay. When, when you get to the studio, you will see your little sketch and then with the paint that you want, okay. and then the artist will walk you through step by step until you have a masterpiece. Now there are a bunch of different ways that you can do it. I just want to point out some of the finished products right here. This one is absolutely incredible. Look at the cuteness in this. This is something that I would hang up all over my house. It's almost better than a real life photo, right? 
Well, it's, it's yours. It's, it's yours. Your you made it. But exactly. I do want to say your professional team made this very special one for us. Look who that is, you guys. That is Tex. Alberto, <laughs> thank you so much. You're welcome. Y'all don't go anywhere. I'm going to sit down coming up a little bit later on the show, and I'm going to learn exactly how to make my fur babies look like that, but probably not as good. But back to you guys in the studio. We'll be back with more a little bit later. All right, time now to play our brand new game. It's called Hilo Super Easy. This is where one lucky viewer will guess whether the products are either higher or lower than the suggested price. And it looks like our viewers right here. Absolutely. We have, uh, is it Amanda Krolchek? Yes, it is. Hi, Amanda. Hi. Welcome to the show. Thank you. So glad to have, where are you calling in from? I'm from Humble. Awesome. Well, it's so glad to have you with us. And do you get the idea of high-low, how to play the game? Yeah, I've watched on the Price is Right kind of as well. So That's right, girlfriend. Okay, well, let's do it. So the first item up is the Better Back Therapy Posture Corrector. So this is it right here. It's supposed to help your back feel better. And, you know, as we all age, we have those problems, right? I have it every day. So... <laughs> Here's your question, Amanda. Is the price higher or lower than $30? I'm going to say it's higher. Higher, $54.99. Amanda, so you won the first one. And right. did we make it clear that every answer you get correct, you get to keep that item? So you get it all right, you take awesome. it all home. Yay. Okay, Amanda, let's get with our next one. And this is the Electrosound Sleep and Relax Soothing Noise Machine. It has dials on the front of the, on the top of it. So here's your question. Is it higher or lower than $24.99. I'm gonna say it's higher. No, oh. wrong answer. <laughs> the answer would be lower because the price is $15.99. Listen, okay. Amanda, don't feel bad. No. I thought it was higher as well, but that is a good deal, $15.99. All right, moving on to the Urbane Home four-piece luxury bath towel set. Is this lower or higher than $39.99? Mm, I'm going to say higher. You are correct, Amanda. Higher, $49.99. All right. Your so second now prize. You've got your second prize. We are here at the end of our high-low game with this. Everybody needs one of these nowadays because we have the Andrew Ustream Executive Home St Streaming Studio oh, with wow. ring light and tripod. So it's all about good lighting for those Zoom calls, right? Okay. Is this lower or higher than $140.99? I'm going to say lower. Very good. You are correct. Yay! The <laughs> price is $119.99. Awesome. So you have three of our high low prizes today. Yay. Too bad I didn't sweep it. <laughs> you know what? I would say three out of four is pretty darn good. Amanda, thanks so much for joining us from Humble, and thanks so much for watching Houston Life. Thank you. I love you guys. Oh, thanks for watching. And right. if you would like to snag some of these prizes for yourself, all you have to do is head to deals.clicktohouston.com. Super fun, right? Yeah, that was fun. All right. When we come back, are you looking for a new job? Find out pro tips from celebrity career coach Ken Lindner to help you get back into the workforce. And later, Joe Sam is introducing us to a multimedia craftsman sounding. that's educating us about the art form and how it's helping the community. Houston Life will be right back. Well, he has helped the careers of household names like Lester Holtz and Mario Lopez, and now he's empowering regular folks who need a new job or profession. His name is Ken Lindner, and he joins us now with some of the insight he shares in his brand new book, Career Choreography. Ken, it is good to see you. Welcome to Houston Life. Well, thanks so much, Derek. It's a pleasure to be with you. Yeah, congrats on the new book. You've had a long career as a talent agent. Describe to us your mission in writing this book, Career Choreography. Sure. Derek, I have, over the past 35 years, uh, equipped thousands of individuals to identify the right job for them, secure it, and flourish in it. So when the pandemic hit, I thought this is my time to be of service 
and share what I know to help people get back to work and get into a job in which will make their hearts sing. Their hearts, okay, I'm intrigued, I'm intrigued. And, and does this mean it's applicable to any profession out there? It is applicable to any profession. The steps of career choreography basically are that there's a logical set of steps anybody can take to put the percentages in their favor that they will attain their career goals. And in career choreography, I give people steps to figure out exactly the kind of jobs in which they can flourish. Uh, steps such as exploring, go dig deep down and find out what it is you really want from a new job. Are there things that uh, you don't want in your new job? And explore your skill sets what your passions are, what your experience has prepared you to do. That's so important because then it will clarify the kind of job you want to look for and you can also better articulate to a prospective employer what makes you so special. And for a lot of folks, Ken, over the past year, I feel like the pandemic was a time when people were in a free fall. People were losing their jobs, maybe for the first time uh, facing the idea of being unemployed. So what are some things that someone should look for when they are hoping to find that new job? And I mean, you know, finding a job that is going to professionally fulfill them. Well, Derek, first of all, when it comes to professional fulfillment, I would say take a job that you believe in. Take a job that you love. Take a job that makes you excited to go to work every day and take a job at which you're, which you're good at and takes advantage of your skill sets. Because then not only will you be fulfilled and happy, but the chances are you'll be highly successful. But the steps that I would love to share with your viewers today are one, make sure that you know exactly what you want in your new job. Two, Make sure that you contact people who you who you've worked with before. Very important because those are the people who know how good you are, who know your track record, who know your, that you have great contacts. And people who either a might hire you, or b highly recommend you to somebody who can hire you. And also be optimistic. This is your chance for a great professional reset. And don't discount the amount of experience you have. That's a huge asset with an employer uh, when you have that uh, interview. If I'm an employer and have so many people applying for so few jobs, I want to hire the best person out there who can hit the ground running, who's got a track record, and who can really add value to my company. So make sure that you articulate all of the things that make you special and all of your experience. That can really help. All right, Ken Lindner, we've only scratched the surface, but uh, we gotta leave it there for today. And a quick tease, even for folks over 45, you have tips for finding a job in the book. Yes, for sure. All right, Ken, we'll leave it there. Thanks so much. And a reminder Thanks to so our viewers, dinner. career choreography is available now on Amazon and at Barnes & Noble. And if you would like to connect with Ken, we do have a link on our website, HoustonLife.tv. All right, now let's send things on over to Miss Courtney Zavala. Hi, Courtney. Okay, hey, coming up, you know, from the family-owned shop that plant enthusiasts must visit to handmade clothing for stylish mamas, we're going to share some of our local favorites complete with promo codes because it's absurd. Sessions Day, and we're going to get a check of what's coming up for the news at 4. Houston Life is back in two minutes. Welcome back to Houston Live. Courtney and Derek back with you. It's 3.30 on this Tuesday, Obsessions Day. Yeah, it's a great day. Time now to hear some of your comments from our question of the day. What is something you purchased online that turned out to be a complete fail? Let's get to those comments now. Sunny writes in, a pool from Wish. My Yorkie can't even <laughs> swim in it. It's so shallow. Oh. Well, yeah, Wish is that app right. that people use. I know. I've heard a lot of fails there. Okay, Robbie writes in, shake weight. I mean, they're fun, but my biceps never got bigger. 
Robbie, <laughs> you bought the shake weight. I know. That was a thing for a while. It was. We don't blame you. We're not judging. Carla writes in a boiled egg peeler. You put the egg in the container and shake the hooey out of it. Mm -hmm. Then presto, you have a deviled egg yeah. <laughs> with pulverized pieces of shells. Monumental fail. You know, Carla, I had seen those advertised and now I'm glad I don't have to buy it. I know. Did not work. Bummer it didn't work, though. It looked great in the infomercial. Peeling a boiled egg can be tedious. And let me tell you, the only time it's perfectly peeled is when you're not making deviled eggs. Yeah. Otherwise, when you're making deviled eggs, it's a disaster. Covered in craters. <laughs> yeah, the right, egg is gone as you gone. peel it. <laughs> we're check in with Keith, Christine, and Frank for a look at what's coming up in the news at the top of the hour. Hey, guys. Hey, what's going Hi. on? Hey. What's Get up? up? Hey. Hey. Just, just hang in. Just hang in. What's, All right, look, you? look a good, guys. <laughs> this is a toss to you. <laughs> Sorry, we'll wake up. Should we get some coffee? Yeah, may, that, that might I help. Know. That might help. Yeah, to, that'll warm us up. Uh, I think it was kind of the weather today. You know, when it gets kind of cloudy out there, it's warm. It's like, oh, Frank. Yeah, you're blaming me. Everything. Everything. <laughs> no. Good. It's Never. not your fault. Hey, you know, you know I like it warm, so I'm not complaining at all. So, yeah. yeah. But there's that. <laughs> <laughs> it's warm, though. You're right. 85 downtown and southwest and 81 in Galveston. So far, other than a sprinkle or two, we haven't been bothered by the rain. But don't put the umbrellas away just yet. There's a front that's going to continue to slowly slide our way. And as it does, that's going to mix with this south flow, and that'll give us a better chance for showers. In fact, the real story's been over here in Louisiana. Flood warnings, severe thunderstorm watches, they're just getting hammered by those storms there as the little uh, storm system moves across. So that has missed up. Us. But the front is slowly going to continue to move to, uh, toward us. And so you see these showers popping up tonight, right on into tomorrow. And I tell you what, Thursday and Friday are going to be on the stormy side also. With that in mind, we already have the severe weather threat that's been issued for today for large hail and damaging winds. That would be for later tonight, really north of Houston. And we'll go close up on the future cast coming up at 4. But tomorrow also, large hail, damaging winds. It's a 1 on a scale of 1 to 5, but it does extend all the way down to around Rockport. So we're going to be under this, it looks like, for the rest of the work week. And then a better weekend. However, I think you could get that run in this afternoon. 84, 82, 80. It's on the warm side, but not too much rain to bother you about that. Three takeaways here. Keep the umbrellas handy. Temperature's still mild. Improving weekend. How okay. About that? All right, we're ready for this now. Yes, I think we were trying to think of products that yeah. failed us. Yeah, I, I, and we weren't getting there. Things, like, yes, yes. So <laughs> Frank's tossed back to us now. So yeah. We're going to okay, go ahead and talk Okay, now. yeah, we're yes. ready to go. All right, Frank, thank you. <laughs> look now. <laughs> look. You're supposed to just put the mat down on the ground and all the flowers just, grow. Just oh, bloom. Yeah. It became a mat, not a if flower it didn't mat. didn't work. Oh. oh, well. Yeah. <laughs> you, you live and you learn. Yeah. You know? All right, a look now at some of the other stories that we're going to be covering this afternoon at 4 o'clock. The story that's making headlines really across the world, the mm -hmm. FDA recommending a pause in the use of the Johnson & Johnson COVID vaccine. It has to do with some patients developing blood clots after receiving the single-dose shot. We've got team coverage on this development, including how many cases of blood clots have been reported and what happens at local vaccine clinics where people were already scheduled to receive the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. Also coming up at 4 o'clock, KPRC2's Taisha Walker is going to take a closer look at a special program here in our area that helps adults with autism. She's going to tell us about how the program is designed to equip adults with special needs with the tools to land a job. And it is a very special day here at KPRC. It's dedication day for our 2021 Habitat Home presented by UT Physicians, which is a part of UT Health. The build began in January and now the home is complete. It's the eighth year KPRC has partnered partnered with Habitat for Humanity to help deserving Houston families get into a brand new home. Love it. It's one of the best things that we do here at KPRC. Yeah, KPRC2. and all men are so. daughters so happy and yes. we're so happy to, that they can move into their forever home. But yes, I, I can't believe it's already done. Yes, yeah, well, yeah. How hey, fast they, they work. Hey, we got professionals out there. Yeah, uh, we're not a doubt. Well, we, we Except were when there. we're there, yeah. We professionals were when we're not there. Yeah, they, yes, they had to fix the ones that we did. Well, we were supervised, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah but even, even then, it's like you leave, they leave you for two minutes, and they're like, okay, we've got to take these ones out, these nails out, we've got to <laughs> flip the board. But hey, it all came together. Yes, we're so happy for them. It did. Very yes. special day here indeed. All right, guys, we'll see you at 4 o'clock. Okay.
Sounds good. Okay, shifting gears now, you can see our set is filled with some lovely items. And of course, you know, Courtney and I love shopping small. So our monthly series of HL Obsessions continues today, featuring clothing brands, wellness products, and my favorite family run plant shop. It's so great. Okay, if you love these products as much as we do, we will have some discount codes for you today as well. By the way, we want to let you guys know we are not paid or compensated by these companies. We are simply, we love the products and love to share them with you so you're up first okay well and I have to thank you Courtney because I know about the floriculture because of you next to uh, French Riviera French restaurant Riviera on we Chimney love Rock them. so there's this plant shop but it's not just a plant shop folks this is the plant shop your plant shop you know you move to a new city or you've been living here for a while you've got your doctor your hairstylist you got to have your plant shop this is it the flora culture you're so gonna funny. fall in love with them so the plants are so beautiful it's hard to believe they are even real and listen if you're a plant novice no problem they've got free potting if you purchase a plant home plant consultations work workshops, the list goes on and on. And, you know, my birthday plant this year, Brenda got me the big yes. um, bird of paradise. And this year, Matthew and Gemini, they got me this beautiful little plant. Actually, there's Taisha Walker. I ran into her today. At at Floral the floriculture. You did? Yes, friends and coworkers, they love it just as much as oh, me as we do. So happy. That's my little birthday plant. It's a gorgeous little so jasmine. Great. They wrote uh, care instructions on the back. But folks, Gemini and Matthew Oaks, along with their kids Oliver and Emery, they run the shop. Uh, Jan and Anna as well. And they're just the nicest, nicest people. And again, if you have trouble keeping plants alive, no problem. They will take your plants to the next level. They have easy care plants in the the shop and it looks sort of like it's straight out of a magazine right it's beautiful you too can keep them alive 20% off by using the code Houston life 20 online or visit them in store they do have some exotics that are excluded but this is a killer sale 20% off again right there on chimney rock go visit them you will never look back I know it's so beautiful okay every time I wear one of these tops or a dress there's you guys are go crazy over them so this is from the amelia collection each piece is unique and hand embroidered by artisans their partners in mexico each piece can really take about three months to complete because the embroidery is amazing i want to start here because besides the clothing there's also these beautiful table runners which you could frame if you wanted to amelia ha uh, emily has some of these in her house that she has framed they're absolutely beautiful um but all of these dresses and and you could do like a mommy and me situation. These are so great for the summer months here. Actually, year round here in Texas. They're beautiful. I wear mine all the time. I love it with jeans. I love it with white pants. I, I mean, even if when it gets hot, you're running errands. The dresses are great. Also, I have this one too. Um, this is my Astros one. Perfect season for it. Yeah. So I love this. Emily lives here in town, but again, she has partners in Mexico, and these are all hand embroidered. AmeliaCollection.com is where you can find them. She also does pop ups around town, so I'm sure like, you'll see her around. But this promo code is only good on her website. It's Houston Life to receive 15% off your online order. The code expires April 27th of this month. I wore one of these tops at our Galveston show, and people were going nuts. It was the perfect thing, too, because you're outside, we're running around. It's the perfect top. They have some really cool masks as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. One of a kind. You can't find them anywhere else. All right, very nice. Well, don't go anywhere. From the benefits of plants in your home to the power of plants in your diet, I will share my favorite superfood powder. We do have more HL obsessions and discount codes coming up. Okay, so far we have revealed two of our four obsessions. Let's share what else we've got today. Courtney, you look great. Okay, I have a costume change. I'm wearing my robe. We are starting off with Edith Hour. This is a luxury lifestyle brand. All products are made right here in Houston, Texas and launched in June of 2019. The founder, Emily, designs nightgowns and robes and house dresses made with 100% cotton. They are so lovely. And it's named after Emily's dearest grandmother who taught her to begin each day with her favorite lipstick, a beautiful smile, and her best foot 
forward. Oh, that's cool. So this is so sweet. I love it. So the robe that I have on, it's a crisp cotton. Um, you can monogram it. So mine says so fresh, so clean, or you could just put your name on it. Um, but these cottons are absolutely beautiful. Every wash, every wear, it's going to come out like this. I also love, and I'm a big fan, and I'm glad that these are coming back in style, these kind of house coats or dressing gowns, if you say. It looks sort of like a baby doll sleeve, right? It is so beautiful, but you could be getting dressed. Someone could answer the, you know, come to your door, and you're still in a beautiful lounge dress that you feel comfortable and you feel, you know, like you you have something on and presentable. Yeah. Let's just say that. We do have an HL promo code for you. This is on edithhour.com and use the code Houston Life. You can receive 10% off your online order. The code is going to expire on April 30th, 2021, of course. And again, I 2% of the sales go back to an organization. Um, or I'm sorry, that's for you, not yeah. mine. That's for yours coming up. But Emily is super sweet. She's in Houston. And I love that it's named after her grandmother. The piping around the collar is very, very nice. So sweet, right? Okay, yeah. So we're going to get to that 2% yes. in just a moment with Sunwink. So if you haven't heard of this brand, you will soon. Sunwink makes power, super clean, plant-powered, sparkling tonics, and superfood powders for everyday use so you can drink them, you can mix them into yogurt or shakes or water. You can cook with them, sprinkle them on items. And check this out. One of the founders would, was diagnosed with an autoimmune disease that, and she turned to herbs and superfoods essentially to help alleviate these terrible symptoms okay. she was having. So it's a great way if you struggle getting more plants into your diet, this is the way to do it. No preservatives, no additives. And here, I'm going to crack this. Well, you can open that for yourself. Okay. So so this is one of their sparkling tonics. And again, there are no, no artificial colors. I'm not sure if you guys can see while well, you open that, Courtney. Okay. Check out this powder that you can mix in. Do you see how beautiful and vivid and bright that is? That's the Berry Calm. That is all plants right there. So if you're looking for extra Ooh, vitamins and minerals, throw this into a shake or simply put it into a glass of water and stir it up. It dissolves so easily. And there you can enjoy the added benefits of lower stress, longevity. I love it. What do you think? I love this. So this is Lemon Rose Uplift. The rose is, and I'm, I love rose perfume. It's actually what I have on today, but the tasting it is so different. It's lovely and light. I'm a fan. Lovely and light and good for you. So mm -hmm. check out Sunwink. 2% uh, of all sales go back to our community and the planet. The HL promo code at sunwink.com is HoustonLife15. You can receive 15% off your non-subscription online order. The code does expire April 20th, 2021. I love the packaging as well. It's so bright. It's perfect with my robe. It is. I know. Perfect loungewear. We do want to recap all of our Obsession promo codes for the... Um, on the screen for you right now. As a reminder, we are not paid or compensated by any of these businesses. These are all products we just simply love and enjoy and love supporting them and want to share them with all of you. We'll also have all promo code information on our website today as well. So this was so amazing. I'm going to get some of these. Good. Cheers to Obsessions. Mm -hmm. All right. Now let's send things on over to Mr. Joe Sam for another local spotlight. Hi, Joe. Hey, guys. Yeah, I'm going to need one of those robes Courtney has so I can get relaxed too. Looks good. Good, guys. Well, you know what? Houston is full of beautiful art, and now one artist is leading the charge when it comes to multimedia art. He sat with me to explain more about this new art form that's helping all of us here and incorporating his style into the city. There are so many creative spirits out here in Houston, and you are one of the best yeah. because we've seen your work pretty much spread throughout the city. Let's talk a little bit more about what you do. Okay, I like to consider uh, my style of work creatively insane, which is why I call myself creatively insane art. It's because I take a little bit of everything. I take digital art, I take carpentry, painting, I take uh, et cetera, and I put all those things together to make uh, one big piece, and usually those are big installations. Uh, they bring all these different elements and, and which brings one unique piece. Now when did you get started doing this? What inspired you to get into this type of artwork? It started me helping one of my friends. Uh, he had his own business. It was a selfie museum. Uh, it's now called Culture Experience and it's located in Atlanta. We first started off here in Houston. 
He allowed me to help him with a few of his, a few of his rooms in the beginning, and I was able to start developing how to build installations from there. And then I got the job at 5015, which took me to the next level. What it is that you think it does for people whenever they see that finished product after you finish all the work that you've done, what do you think they take away from it? Well, I think it definitely incites uh, some type of encouragement, of course, uh, especially the one I did at Park 15. It was definitely meant to uplift people in that way and what that movie meant for people. Uh, but what I'm thinking they're taking from it is just joy, pure uh, creativity, pure, uh, you know, I love this. I want to put this on my Instagram. You know, I want to take a picture in front of it. Uh, so that's what I'm, I'm hoping to entitle in all these installations. When people go in and get that experience because they're not just walking into a place just to go and have a good time. When yeah. they walk in there and they see the vibe, they see the experience, and they get it all incorporated into one whole takeaway. And I love the fact that you're giving them that with all of this beautiful artwork. Worth ethic is everything. Uh, so if you see somebody on a certain level that you want to be on, you just got to keep working until you get that way. Uh, consistency is very, very much important, and then relationships. So you combine all those three together, and eventually you will be able to do what I do. That's right. Thaddeus hosts regular classes to continue educating the community about multimedia art. I'll have a link on our website, HoustonLife.tv, where you can find out how to sign up for his classes. This is really cool, you guys. I love all of the artwork that he has. He's incorporating wood, steel, paintings, all different types of art forms so that he can combine together a beautiful installation. And he can be seen all over the place here in Houston, too. Bars, restaurants, so cool. murals. I love it. Very nice, Shell. Yeah. Thanks so much. Uh, absolutely. Cool. All right, speaking of art, let's send things back to Lauren Kelly. She's working on her own possum masterpiece today, Lauren. We're having fun with this paw oh, word. Oh, Courtney, you know it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. We're here at Painting with a Twist, and I'm working on how to paint my pet. Jordan has been helping me along. When we come back, the how-to guide on how I'm going to finish this masterpiece. Don't move. Houston Life will be right back. Uh, twist, a the, uh, twist, their Spring Valley location right off the Katy Freeway. And we showed up, and look what they already had ready for us. Isn't that amazing? We are learning how to paint your pet, and by that beautiful drawing, this was the photo that we sent them of Tex. Look at how good they did. And Jordan, who's hiding behind the photo of Tex, is one of the artists here. You actually work at the Sugarland location, and so explain to people when they come to do this, they send their photo in, and then you sketch it out, and then what I have here is a photo of my two dogs, Minnie and Zoe, and we've been working on that over the last hour or so. So That's now right. I'm going to pick up which brush and continue with which colors. So now I think we should go ahead and take our tiniest brush known as baby brush, okay. and we're going to take some pure black on our baby brush. Okay. And with our pure black, we're going to go ahead and work on our little puppy's Minnie's eyes. Minnie's little mini eyes. There okay. you go. I don't want her to look a little like a demon puppy. No but worries. There we oh my gosh, I may have made that a little bit bigger. No <laughs> worries, I got you. <laughs> Professor Jordan's Okay, thank back. you, Professor Jordan. What no else? Problem. What's next? What are Go we ahead and take that same color with a little bit of red. Just touch it into that red real quick. Okay, got Perfect. it. Perfect. And hit that nose for me. The nose? Yeah. Okay. Oh, look how cute. I just want to make mention that nobody has to be a master painter or a really full-on artist to do these. You will have a one-on-one -on -one artist with you Absolutely. to walk you through. Okay, yes. show us what's next. All right, so once you do that, you're going to go ahead and do the same to our other friend right Okay, here. that is Zoe. Our other friend is Zoe. Zoe. This is Zoe and Minnie. Okay, hold yes. on, look at this. Pure black in there. Perfect. We've been working on this for about an hour. Jordan, normally how long does a full painting take? So these usually go for three-hour classes. It's plenty of time so you don't have to rush. We sketch gotcha. it out for you the whole time. It's very chill. We play games. We give away free stuff. I mean, what? what and more you get want? to bring your own booze, which is half the fun, right? Absolutely. That's Jordan, the twist. <laughs> thank you so much. If you guys want their $5 discount code for our HL viewers, log on to HoustonLife.tv. I've got more information. Cheers to finishing this painting. I promise that, uh, well, don't drink that one. <laughs> I promise I'm going to get it done, and I'll send you guys some photos once it's done. So back How to you guys. How fun, and gonna, such a great job today. already. That's so awesome. Thank you so much. It's I did the pink. I did perfection. the pink perfection. I don't know. I'm trying to keep it going. <laughs> Thank you, Courtney. <laughs> After the break, a look at what's coming up on tomorrow's show, including an inspiring story about a local mom 
on a mission. Perfection. But first, let's check in with Kevin Frazier for a look at what's coming up on Entertainment Tonight. Hey, Kevin. Derek and Courtney, tune into ET tonight for our exclusive peek at the new F9 trailer, plus our interviews with Vin Diesel, John Cena, and Michelle Rodriguez. Here's the question Can this franchise save movie theaters? That's tonight at 6 30, right here on KPRC2. But don't budge. Houston Life will be right back. Coming up tomorrow on Houston Life, learn more about the Paraland woman who is uplifting fellow moms raising children on the autism spectrum. Plus, you know him from 20 seasons of MTV's The Challenge, Johnny Bananas. 20 season, I can't believe that, is chatting all about his new reality show, Celebrity Sleepover. No drama there, right? Oh, dear. I gotta start watching more TV. I hadn't even heard of that show, but it sounds very exciting. Oh, it is. Lots of laugh. Thanks so much for joining us today. All right, now it is time for KPRC 2 News at 4 o'clock. We'll hand it off to Studio A.